What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach, and I hope you're having a good Tuesday if you're watching this on Tuesday. So with that said, if you're watching this on the day of our free class, which is Tuesday this week, use that link right there to register for our free practice test with video solutions and automatic registration to the free classes. So go ahead, take a second, do that. There's a link somewhere over here in the description, find it, and let's get ready to go. But this is a sample problem for that class, which is money word problems. And the thing is, when it comes to money, tough, right? You know, we have to deal with decimals, which not a lot of us are comfortable with dealing with, but at the same time, word problems. So allow me to go ahead and walk you through this problem. It's a sample for tonight's class. And then in class tonight, we have two hours all the way through crushing this to show you the strategies that you need to be effective. So let's go ahead and get started here. Ming spent 19, stop right there. That's the complete wrong way to start word problems. The way that you wanna start word problems is by first, What's the question? What do I want? Because think about it. We're not gonna put ourselves out in the open when we don't know what's going on. And that's what you're doing here. You're just going ahead and going along for the ride. Start first by reading the question right here. How many candy bars did she buy? Remember, look for those question action words. Who, what, when, where, why, how many, which of the following? Those are those action words that you're looking for. So how was right there. So we're looking for how many, so the amount of candy bars that she purchased, which is me in this case. Okay, that's the first step. What do I want? I think we can all understand the question, right? Yeah, we want the number of candy bars. How many candy bars? The number of candy bars, that's what we'll start off with every single time. And I'll just use C for candy bars because I don't know what it is. Just put in C, A, X, doesn't really matter. But that's the first step. Step number two. After you know what you want, now it's time to understand the information you have. The three steps to word problem success really comes down to, hey, can I understand the question? Can I understand how the keywords in the problem relate to a formula or an equation or process or procedure? And then calculate quickly and confidently. But you can't get to calculating if you don't have a solid plan. So I say this all the time. Let's go ahead and get to it here. What is our plan going to be? Well, since we're looking for the number of candy bars, I'm gonna look for all of the information that's related to candy bars. That's all I care about. So it says Ming spent this much money on a magazine. Don't worry about the numbers until you know what they mean. So this much money on a magazine, some candy bars. Okay, so she purchased some candy bars and a magazine that totaled $19.40. Okay, I can go ahead and write that down. So again, this is what I want. Here's what I have. We have $19.40 spent on a magazine. So be very, very careful though. A magazine, one magazine, not two, not three, not four, just one. So on a magazine, so one, one magazine and some candy bars. Do they specify how many? No, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Remember, we're looking for how many candy bars. We don't know what that is. We're looking for it. So on one magazine, and, and we're just going to say C candy bars. C candy bars, right? And so with that said, okay, what other information do we have? Well, we know that the magazine costs $2.60. Okay, so I can say that again, one magazine right here. I'm going to use blue. 260. That is $2.60. And then it says, ooh, there's a keyword here. Each candy bar. And remember that it's really important to use good materials to study for the ASVAB. So if you're looking for great materials, go ahead and take advantage of our Labor Day sale where you can get 20% off your first month of our ASVAB All Access program or 25% off the year or the lifetime packages. So go ahead, sign up, save big, and let's ace the ASVAB. Each candy bar is $4.20. So remember, the word each or for every or per, that always indicates either multiplication or division, depending on which direction you're going. To be safe, typically you're doing multiplication, but the way that you know is, hey, if I am going toward the result, then you're multiplying. If you're going toward uh, the piece, you're dividing. So if that doesn't make too much sense, no worries. Just think multiplication for right now, and then we'll expand on this in later videos. But think of it like this. 
if you have C candy bars and they're each $4.20, so C candy bars, $4.20 each, you would be multiplying to get that total amount spent. Think about it. If it was just a regular easier number, like $2 a candy bar, if you had one candy bar, that's two times one, $2. If you had two candy bars at $2 a piece, $4. Three candy bars at $2 a piece, $6, because you're multiplying to go forward to that total price. So again, you have to make sure you understand what these keywords mean, because the plan is the most important part. Every single time, full stop, every single time. So what this all means is this. We're going to translate this. We're going to say that the $19.40 that was spent right here, the total amount spent from Ming is equal to the magazine and the candy bars together. Is that fair to say? The total amount that we spent was spent on the magazine and the candy bars together. So we can create an equation out of this. And this equation is going to be this. Hey, 1940 is equal to the cost of the magazine, so the $2.60, and, which is the same thing as saying plus, C candy bars, $4.20 each, that will take us to 4.20 times C. Now, this is just one way to go ahead and approach the problem. This is just one way. Another way to approach this would be, well, look, if you want to know how many candy bars you purchased, well, then you need to know how much you spent on just the candy bars. So what you would do is you would take out the magazine, that $2.60, you would take that away from the $19.40. Because what you have left would be the amount only for the candy bars. And then you can do your job and divide and get the answer. That's one way to do it. I'm going to do it in the form of setting up an equation because this is a skill that is absolutely necessary. Not every problem is gonna be pretty enough to solve like that where I said, just subtract and divide. Not every problem is like that. You gotta be ready to solve the more complicated problems and so that's why I really do encourage you to learn how to write equations because all equations are, are just math sentences. That's all they are, representing the situation that you're looking at. So with that said, let's go ahead and get to it here. So the way that we're gonna solve this is by doing this. Well, let's get rid of that $2.60. We're trying to get to see. We're trying to get the number of candy bars. So we got to get rid of this first, and then we'll get rid of that 4.2. So what do we do? Subtract on both sides. Now remember, that's exactly what I said we would do, even without an equation, right? Even without an equation, we would get rid of the magazine. That way we only have the money spent on the candy bars. I gotcha. And so with that said, booyah, that's going to cancel out right here. And then let me go ahead and remove this. Remember, free class tonight. Go ahead and sign up. Let me get, let me take that away right there so I have more room. And so what we'll have here, 19.4 minus 2.6. You can use your mental math here. I encourage it because um, with mental math, what you would see is that, hey, I can take away two first, 1740, then take away 60 cents. So you can take away 40 cents, then 20 cents. So that would be 1740. $17 taking away 40 cents, then $16.80 taking away the extra 20 cents. So you can get it like that. Or again, you can go ahead and do it by hand as you're used to. No harm, no foul. But there we have the $16.80, and that's going to equal, we still have that $4.20 right there. 4.20 times C. So what's going to happen now? Well, remember, what's happening right now is that these are being multiplied. And so 4.20 times C is equal to 19.40, or excuse me, 16.80, my bad, wasn't looking. And so what you're going to do now is divide both sides by 4.20, nice and easy. So by dividing both sides by that, we'll give ourselves the opportunity to get the answer. Remember that raising your score and getting the job you want isn't luck. There's a process that you go through, and practicing effectively with us is the best way to go about it. And this Labor Day, you can go ahead and use that code to save 20% off your first month, or even better, save 25% off of our year and lifetime discounts. You'll get access to features like getting real-time progress reports by texting us anytime, 24-7, online courses with over 20,000 practice problems and step-by-step -step solutions, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So if you want to ace the ASVAB, go ahead and go to that link in the description or there. That way you can sign up, raise your score, save big, and get that job that you want.
We're going to go ahead and divide both sides here. And you may be looking at this saying, okay, how do I do this? Decimals, ew, I don't like this. <laughs> it's all good. All you have to do, you can use this little trick that is very common. You can move the decimal over here and there. Remember, whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom, right? Fractions. So you can do that to turn this into 168 over 42. And then from here, you can go ahead and divide. Now, by doing this, you can't do long division because 42 doesn't go into 1 or 16. So you're out of luck there. But one thing you can do is you can notice that, well, both of these numbers are even. I can start off by dividing them both by 2. If you're trying to do this mentally, they're both divisible by 2. And so if you do that, that's going to be 84 divided by 21. And then if you divide, oh, I know that 21 can go into 84. I know that for sure. That's actually four times. And so if you're having trouble seeing that, let's see right there. We have four candy bars. So if you're having trouble seeing that, then I really do encourage you to work on your mental math. This is way too important. Because if you're not sure how to calculate with your basic arithmetic, then it's going to make it a lot harder to plan word problems out. Because, because it takes you longer to calculate, you have less time to plan. So you do want to make sure that you work on your mental math. That's the best advice I can give anybody. But at the end of the day, my party people, let's go ahead and do the little things right. And so that way the big thing takes care of itself. So there it is right there. Answer choice C is the answer. And again, I'll see you in class tonight. Let's make sure to keep getting smarter every day, practicing, and find the next thing we can learn. Let's ace the ASVAB. I'll see you guys later. And before you go, I want you to mark your calendars for the next free class. If you haven't been to one of my classes already, I'd love to have you in there and helping you raise your score. So all you have to do is text, hey, when's the next free class to our automated line, 833-321-0182, and you'll get a reply very quickly about the information for the next class, including the link. So my party people, I'll see you in the next free class. Sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB.